As you probably know now, the INL was hacked by gay furry hackers. Who want cat girls. Who want the INL to make them cat girls. <laughs> now, if you're... Okay, wait. I guess I just realized maybe I don't understand that sentence fully. Do they want the INL to make them, the gay furry hackers, into cat girls? <laughs> or do they want to create a being known as cat girls for the gay furry hackers? And if so, does that mean that the gay furry hackers are lesbians? That's right. Yeah, that's anything, what that would mean. <laughs> yeah, because if so, feminism. I think I think we're missing the broader <laughs> point, which is this is trolling on an epic level. Yeah. And an illegal level. Oh, very. And we're not condoning that at all. In fact... Let's face it, it's pretty shitty to release names and numbers and other private data about people who are just trying to do their job. Right. Especially because realistically, dude, the INL is a huge employer around here, and they're one of the best paying ones. Yeah. So, I mean, realistically, you can't really fault people for just going to the best paying employer in their area. Here's the thing, though. Even though it's a dick move... The organizations, and depending on where you look, they need to work on their branding a little bit, I think. Mm -hmm. um, it's either Siege Sec, Siege as in the siege on a city, like the Siege yeah. of Syracuse at the end of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> With Archimedes and the mm -hmm. mirrors and the claws that come out. Uh, <laughs> I'm very excited about sieges. How long has it been since you've thought about the Roman Empire? Okay. <laughs> um, and Sec, like, give me a Sec. So or it's either Siege Sec or Sieged sec like oh. past tense anyway they uh they build themselves as gay furry hackers hilarious and, and they've done here's the thing they're trolls that do this basically to red states right you know because then they their advocate i mean to to paint it nicely they're advocates for social change mm -hmm. to paint it not nicely they are kind of criminals <laughs> well yeah I mean, what they're doing is illegal, and you can't yeah, overlook that. Right. And also, I've known many gay furry hackers, and not all of them do illegal stuff. There are plenty of good gay furry hackers on both sides. Now, I originally thought... <laughs> I thought it was a funny joke, but okay. <laughs> I got it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I originally thought that maybe local news didn't say who it was, who did it, because that they, they were trying to protect our little virgin ears. Right. But then I thought, wait a minute. The news is for who? Adults. Right. And adults can handle talking about homosexuality mm -hmm. and furries, mm -hmm. that little subculture there. Yeah. And, and hackers. Yeah. I think. Well, you know what? Some adults can. I think. Some people are just very <laughs> sensitive, you know? Right, but... The news is a one-way conduit of information from them to us. Right. And when you have a one-way conduit of inf information where I can't uh, ask follow-up questions, you have to make sure you answer, here it comes again, kids, the five W's, who, what, mm -hmm. when, where, why. Sometimes, if you're feeling saucy, how, how often, to what extent? By not including the part of the story about gay furry hackers, we've omitted who mm -hmm. and probably the why at least a big part of the why a big part of the why right so when the news omits two out of the five w's mm -hmm. they're not really the news now are they and to be fair i do think that there is some argument as to why not to do that yes because really by doing that you're giving them what they want R exactly but then every other news agency in the world, because this was a global story, right? did say it. So if you know the information is going to be available somewhere else, why would you make somebody go look for it? Well, to be fair, people are lazy. <laughs> yeah, and at true. least, I mean, at least you're keeping your conscious, your conscience clear. Sure, I get that. But I, I got the distinct impression that the news was trying to shelter us somehow. And mm. that's the last thing I want from the news. Right. Right. I want to know all about Ukraine and Gaza, even if it doesn't affect me here in my own little bubble. Mm -hmm. You got to tell me. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. 